I'm going to do problem number eight. So number eight, we're going to be finding limits. So the first limit is let P equal the limit as X approaches negative infinity of the absolute value of 2X plus 4 divided by X minus 1. So this might look a little confusing at first because of the absolute value size and you might not be sure what to do with those. But all we have to do is, is look at what the limit is approaching. And because the limit is approaching a negative infinity, I know I'm going to use the negative of the absolute value. Because remember, absolute values can either be negative or positive. So this, this was approaching positive infinity. I would not have my negative here. But because it's negative infinity, I have my negative. Okay? So from here, this makes it a little easier. Remember, when I'm approaching infinity, I want to look at the degree of the highest on the bottom. So the highest degree here is going to be x to the power of 1, and I'm going to divide everything by that. So, I'm sorry, limit. So this is what I'm now finding. So what I'm going to do is take the limit, and I'm going to divide every single part by x because that's the degree of the highest, right? So I have negative, I'll have 2x over x plus 4 over x, all over x over x minus 1 over x. So I'm going to simplify a little bit, and that's the limit as, oops, sorry, as x approaches negative infinity. When I simplify here, I just get negative, oh, sorry, I get 2, plus 4 over x over 1 minus 1 over x. So now as x approaches infinity, when I have 4 divided by infinity, this is going to go to 0, and this is going to go to 0. Because if I divide by a very, very big number, a smaller number divided by a really, really big number is going to be really, really small numbers so that's close to 0. That's how I used to think of it. So all I'm left with now is negative 2 over 1, so that's going to be negative 2. Okay? So don't get confused with the absolute value. Next, I'm going to have, they told me that Q is equal to the limit as X approaches infinity of 3 over 2 plus E to the X. And from here, I can pretty much just plug it in. So, I mean, this is going to equal 3 over 2 plus e to the infinity. Now, e to the infinity is just a really big number because e is a number, correct? 2.7. So this is going to be 3 over infinity because infinity plus 2 is still infinity. Now, same as in this case, when I have a smaller number divided by a really, really big number, this limit is going to approach 0. And I believe that this answer choice is b. And this is number eight.